Well, hello, folks. Welcome back here inside with the Death Star. You know, it is time now for one of the segments that's really sweeping the city. Of course, I'm talking about kicking it with Cole. That's when the Raiders Pro Bowl punter AJ Cole snatches a mic from me. He takes my job and then he grabs one of his teammates and introduces us to them. This week, he has Jermaine Illuminor, an offensive lineman for the Raiders. This is one that you don't want to miss. Check it out. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to episode three of Kicking It With Cole. Today we've got Jermaine Illuminor on the show. Jermaine, tell everybody you say hello. What's good? All right, so first question we got for you. Uh, you're the first non-specialist we've had on the show. So I'm a specialist because I do participate in field goal. Okay, well, that's so, you, you just know. beat me to it. So talk, talk to us about your favorite position to play, being on the field goal unit, getting a little head bump with me afterwards, talk about your relationship with the specialists and special teams in general. Honestly, I hate field goal. All I do is stand there and get ran over, or I just have to block very heavy men while, you know, AJ and Daniel take all the credit for holding the ball and kicking the ball, and Trent snaps it. And so, you know, it's, it's just something I got to do. Not really, it's, it's, it's okay. Yeah, but then afterwards, we go like what? Trent. We go like what? Then, um, we go like what? Oh, we headbutt each other. Like yeah. that, we go like yeah, that. Sometimes, you know, if, you know, if not, I'm not really feeling it, AJ will track me down and headbutt me very hard for, you know, forgetting to headbutt him after the field goal. <laughs> so, you know, I just have to pay attention to AJ and make sure that I get that headbutt in because it is very important for him and for me and just our connection and our relationship. <laughs> and, you know, Trent kind of got jealous. Trent Scott, the long snapper. Yep. And so he tries to headbutt me now too. And, you know, I'm kind of, Wary of that, I don't really like it, but he finds him, he finds me and he still headbutts me. And mm -hmm. so it's kind of something I got to live with. And apparently now Daniel likes to headbutt as well. And you know, so all three of them try to headbutt me. And one time they try to do it at the same time and it just, you know, some things you got to deal with. And Okay, know. perfect, Dad. That was way more information than we were looking for. <laughs> Okay, so uh, not only are you our first non-specialist on the show, you're also first our, our first non-American born player. Um, so talk to me about growing up playing football and then coming over to the United States and transitioning to football. So um, I started playing flag football because apparently you could play rugby in England, but you couldn't play American football because it was too rough. But I, I thought that was ridiculous. So I quit that, started playing rugby again. Then I got the opportunity to move over here. Um, you know, I wasn't too good in high school. I had to go to junior college to, you know, get offers to D1 schools. And then just kind of took off from there. Um, it was um, it was definitely a hard transition because, you know, these guys have been playing football since they've been kids, you know. I'm sure you've been playing since you were seven or eight years old, and I started when I was 16, 17. Yeah, I started when I was 17. Oh, oh you did? Yeah. Was, I mean, and, and that's not the point that we're talking about me. But um, so, you know, it took, um, it took a while to really get the hang of it, but I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of it in year six of my NFL career. So it only took, what, a long time to get the hang of it yeah you're basically a football freshman in college yeah I mean you know this is basically my first year playing football but it's really maybe my 12th or 13th year so absolutely okay so the last question is I like to ask people about their uh, you know their hair their beard stuff like that Daniel's got long hair Trent's got a good beard so my question for you is how old were you when you found out you were gonna go bald and what was your reaction No, God, please, no, no, no. Usually when someone goes bald, that means they have no hair and I have hair on my head. So, you know, technically I'm not bald. No more, no more. Any further comment? No, nothing, mic drop. All right, Jermaine, thank you so much for coming on the show. Looking forward to seeing everybody next week. Say go Raiders. Go Raiders. <laughs> Kick it!